Good afternoon, November the 4th, 2015. Time to wrap it up for the day. Uh, we came in today with the E-mini seeing the easiest trade is failure to get through 21.10. And we didn't even really touch 21.10. We had a high of 21.09, then 21.08.50. And <clears throat> the market basically sold after that. Uh, the news today, um, pretty close to expectations. Um, Early on, ADP came in very, very close. Trade balance a little bit better. Uh, PMI services on target. Then ISM services came in at 59. We're looking for about 57 minus to 59 plus. Uh, so big miss on ISM services, and the market came off. Yellen spoke in front of Congress, and she said that uh, things are good enough to raise interest rates. Took a lot of markets lower. And we said a couple of days ago that the uh, Treasury market is acting like interest rates will be raised in December. So that's where we find ourselves. Just really good signals. Retest failure S. That was the biggest trade of the day. Uh, don't quite make the mean green trade right here. Uh, this little buy gives you um, a small winner scratch. This buy would have been a loser if you're just taking every trade. This S, that S would have been winners. This S would have been a small winner. Uh, this S would have been a scratch to a loser. This retest failure off the low, probably a scratch. This buy, small winner. Uh, this S or those S is a winner. And it's been to the long side since then. So a couple of losers. And, and again, I'm just pointing out if you just don't discriminate, you just take the test at the the trades that the uh, software says take, you'll be fine by the end of the day. The stuff works. And the key is moving your break even to your stop to break even um, on that third bar and keeping your losses small and reasonable. Okay, so we've got resistance at 2110 and support in the 2085, 2090 area. We had best support at 88. We didn't quite get there. So what does the uh, big screen tell us today? An inside day that favors a trading range. And this would be the proper split. You'd want to do it like that. We're still dealing with P's. We've got this high volume area in the 95 that's attracting and holding the volume. So uh, F1 screen says trading range. F2 screen. Um, It's a B uh, that tends to reinforce the trading range call. And right now, um, first resistance on this screen would be basically at 2100. So 99 to uh, 01 would be sell 1, failure to get through that. And then 5 to 10 would be sell 2. Structure, longer term structure, looking at it past it a couple of days out, still favors the upside. 91 to 89 by 1. 85 to 80 would be by 2. Uh, tomorrow's news, uh, jobless claims, 262. Non-farm productivity up a tenth. Unit labor costs up 2%. Uh, that that number is a little suspect because of the uh, softness, the real softness in the uh, job market. Hard to see labor costs going up under those conditions. Okay, treasuries are lower. Treasuries trade fundamentals. Uh, they're suggesting that the Fed will raise interest rates come December as the Fed's recent round of um, governor's speeches, etc. have said that they're going to do it. You don't know. It just, you know, 
Yellen also said today in front of Congress that if uh, conditions warrant, they wouldn't raise interest rates. They could actually go to negative interest rates. So um, trying to have her cake and eat it, too. I think when it really gets down to <clears throat> can she raise interest rates, not without taking the stock market lower. So on the uh, treasuries, lower high, lower low, find a place to sell it. No magic there. Definitely a B, definitely double distribution, lower. And the D is the start of Yellen's testimony right there. And she did impact the market. So we had two Bs. Before this, the last couple of days, nothing but Bs. The market is pointed lower. So the first sell on this, um, structurally off the chart, she'd be selling a one and a half. So uh, we're here right now, 31 to 03, sell one. 7 to 11, sell two. On the buy side, it is a B. Let them go a little bit lower. 21, 25, buy one. 17 to 13, buy two. And we have Friday's non-farm payroll where they're looking for 190,000 jobs, which would uh, compare to uh, the ADP number today at 185. Ever since ADP switched under political duress, in my opinion, um, the numbers have started, to, have started to get really, really close together. You know, this, um, the regulatory agencies have really, really stepped way outside of their normal bounds, and they really take a very, very active part. Um, through rules and regulations, and if somebody says something they don't like, they get after them too. And I mean, it's in the Treasury Department with Geithner; uh, it's everywhere. Uh, and they, they they don't they don't make any bones about it. You will do as we tell you to do, and if you don't like it, uh, watch out. Thirty year, a little bit more volatile. Uh, we have this E period high here at 26. We're at 19, so 23, 27 is where resistance is if we get above that three to seven we wanted to sell sevens to elevens today the high was eight excuse me it was nine and on the buy side I think we're pointed lower we got volume down at 12 so nine to 13 by one and 5401 to 29 by two Gold, they're going for stops below 1100 It's on the way probably tomorrow. Uh, I believe those that, that can trade London time have a nice opportunity to set a short on with London. Um, always miss that one. Lower high, lower low. Look for a place to sell it off of our F1 screen on our F2 screen. Um, three distributions down. Uh, we did make it to the five, seven areas. So we're going to put buy will be 111 even, 111.02. And then we're going to head down to uh, 90.92. Headed for 10.75, give or take. And if that comes out, uh, we haven't been that low for the past year. On the sell side, 13 to 15 would be ideal. I don't think we can get it there. So we're going to make 9 to 11, sell 1. Then we'll pick up 14 to 16 for sell 2. And I think it takes a piece of news to change that. Crude got whacked today. I mean, the fundamentals on crude have been pretty bad. Um, the talk of war, the drumbeak of war is getting louder. 
of the United States put F-15Cs. That's uh, in the Air Force we call an air cap fighter. It's not equipped to do air to ground. Uh, it's strictly to go out after other aircraft. And so some of the speculation is the United States getting ready to shoot down a Russian fighter. Uh, if that were to happen, um, they would let Turkey do it. And I don't think Turkey would want to do that. So crude's down. Uh, we got this high volume number down at 45.75. Uh, it's attracted the market to it. Uh, first support is 46, 46 and a quarter. I'll be watching the Middle Eastern news. Then 45 even, 45 and a quarter. I'll keep that same number tomorrow. Stops below 45 is a play on the spill. Um, last rotate up was 47.13, so 6.75 to 47 even sell one. Then we're taking out this low up here, 47 and a quarter, 47.50 sell two. Okay, looking at the F1 on the um, Euro, I think um, the 108, 20 to 30 area is probably best support now. 108, 50, obviously, we have to get through that. I think we are headed for that. And you'll pick up this area over here, 108, 29. And remember, we've got 20 tick price increments so there's rounding errors so 108.25 if we can take out 108.50 uh, then we've got this D low over here 106.90 basically 107 if we take out this 108 area so um, <clears throat> I think we're headed for the low 108s before the selling is over and that's by design they, they wanted that Draghi said the other day he got the uh, euro dollar spread going the way that he wanted it Heck, maybe even the EU can um, export to the United States. I never see it in wine prices. They never get cheaper when they come from Europe, even though we know um, the uh, exchange rate has been in our favor, really, for the last couple of years. But that's the way that it is. Prices can go up. They can never come down, right? And Leo, you're right. The non-farm payroll numbers tend to freeze the market, lead to a trading range the day before. Okay, we've got this single print up at 906. We've got this single print at 875. So sell one's 875. Sell two is 109 even. On the buy side, eight and a quarter. It's on the assumption we can get through 50. 50 might hold, but if you can trade London time, uh, you really, really, really have. Uh, Wonderful trade setups in gold, crude, uh, and the euro. I do believe the euro is headed lower. Okay, I'll get this wrapped up right now, and then I'll open up for any questions here. Just a second.